Comes down, they need to recover that. They're taking their sweet time. Esvalda is eventually going to get it planted. Mantu's here, flash, lands behind him. He's able to pick up the kill onto Norway. He knows there's a second player here who just flashed for him. He's holding for it as the two CTs work their way up long. One's already crossed. They seem to be aware of it. You can see Valda has eyes on it. Oh, and Mantu, he turns at the worst possible time, gets the trade onto Kensi, but he Whoa! is going to be flicked! No! The 180 flick! Mantu lands the kill. Zorte pops up, misses the shot. And it is Mantu now. The bomb, it's not planted for him, but he already has four into the round. Ooh. And Zorte misses again. He doesn't have a kit. Jackie lands the shot, but without the kit, he doesn't have the time. And Maybe they were up like 4-3 at one point, I think. Yeah. Or, or, or was it 4-2? I'm not even sure. Other than that, this is the first time I've had the lead in quite some time. Mantu is well oh. wielding the scout. Oh. Gives Zorte a free haircut. But he's like Sweeney Todd, so he just takes the whole head off. Kenzie with a fight with the Deagle. Hits that one onto Nico. It's just the battle of the scouts. Mantu, he's having a field day, Davey. Four frags in the round. All the scout shots he could want. OG really go for this mid to B split. The counter smoke in door is going to make things difficult. Norway does get blind by it, but he tucks away inside of the smoke. The play from Nico outside of the tunnels immediately gets the trade. There is still one player lurking nearby, but it's not going to matter. OG finds Ooh. the kills, the no scope, Ooh. the miss from Zorte, and Mantu comes out on top again. Two kills for him, and he is three away from the 40 bomb. He's dropping mad frags all across the server. He gets a tag on the Kenzie, pulls out the Glock and backhands him with a gat. Says good night, the Forza. Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been quite some time before I uploaded, but I was just busy with the team, with the bootcamp, everything, uh, with the new roster. So yeah, my attention has been more on that than on the YouTube, but I'm back now. Um, Today's episode we'll be doing, continuing the series of how to AWP on different maps and today's series will be on the map Dust 2. Now I feel like it's a good time just because it's been quite some time before the Dust 2 changes and I feel like teams, especially me, tried to figure out obviously how to play on it, uh, how to AWP on it, what, is, what are the comfortable peaks. So I think it's been quite some time now and I can showcase you guys what I think about the new changes, what I do, what other AWPers do. And yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, we're going to start off obviously on the CT side, uh, just like on any other map, uh, what spawns you want to have and on what spawn, what peak you want to do. So starting off with the basics, uh, if you get this spawn, which is the long door spawn, uh, first thing you would want to do, what I would like to do, what others always like to do to peak long doors is as they're running here, they kind of do this jump and then they do anti-flash and then peak in into the long doors here. So anti-flash jump. Boom. Threat's going to be getting fired up and back towards long they go. Mantu's here this time round. Orp the Orp action. Double. Oh no, they both go down. Holding hands and skipping through the long doors. Mantu crashes the party. Now the reason to do this is because they want to dodge the T's flashing. Um, this flash here. As they are flashing here, obviously the T's or the Orp wants to do this kind of peak here, right? So. As you are running here, you kind of want to dodge this flash, boom, peek into this guy here and kill the AKs or the orb peeking you. And you kind of, let's say they throw one flash, right? You want to dodge this flash or let's say there's a, there's a delay between the two flashes that the T's throw. You can always kind of dodge this flash, peek into here, see the guy, kill the guy before the second flash pops, right? Because there's a little bit delay. So you want to abuse this, this kind of delay, dodge, kill this guy, even though let's say you kill him, you you go blind, then you fall back, you get the first entry kill, right? Now, to make it even more safer, your other teammate, which is going along towards you, can do this flash here. So you tuck yourself kind of in this corner here um, and you aim above kind of this cross here, this area right here. When the timer hits 2049, usually that's when the T's come out. So he flashes towards here. Now this is a back flash. So as you are running, this flash pops, it doesn't blind you, but it pops and it blinds the T's or the orb are killing you, so it gives you extra safety. And yeah, just better advantage for you, right? Now, uh, again, with the spawn, which you can do much more aggressive, let's say you do the same kind of peek with your teammate, right? So let's say uh, you do the anti-flash, boom, you peek, you don't see anything. And then your teammate might come, right? He might molly kind of deep, right? Uh, and then come towards here. Um, which 
he secures your long doors and then as he's mulling for you obviously you can do the molly yourself it just helps it if your teammates doing everything for you and you kind of watch this area before the molly pops because they might do a long pop you know smoke the molly and then jump out so you you're just extra secure watching this kind of angle here now when your teammate molly's deep you go towards him and then you scope in here as the molly fades you peek into here right and what your teammate can do is at the start he can jump around or just even do kind of this jump here make noise as jumping just because it baits the tease right oh this guy's doing the you know normal long jump or just getting info which is like this right he's just getting info has long doors whatever so this guy's like you know what uh maybe i can kill him as he's jumping with the ak you know or we'll get my opa to come and kill this guy jumping and it kind of he baits for you doing this jump noise and you are just posted here right just post it towards here and just waiting for these guys to peek you because they hear the sound cue right and you just get an easy entry here there's another thing you can do towards long it's super effective uh, once you get long control of course let's say you get this spawn here and your teammate gets a spawn here the good thing you can do is your teammate runs to this area right here just stands there doesn't have to crowd just stands here as you can see i'll place a bot right here uh, and obviously you're the second spawn so as you're running your teammate goes to this area which you can do obviously you jump here jump jump towards short now there's different things you can do you can be super aggressive um you can go towards here let's Ooh. say zorty has got to hit this one time <laughs> zorte hit the ct's crossing mid challenge impossible <laughs> <laughs> it's the new mr beast video yeah, yeah it's just impossible a million dollars if he hits the shot Instead, he actually goes down as well, because Mantu, he's got the orb that he saved. He wants to find some picks oh, with it, and he actually does hit the follow-up. Oh, can't be getting away with this, Mantu. Let's say let's say, let's say they do the normal Xbox smoke. Uh, obviously, they would want to go through top mid, so this smoke kind of gives you cover. Um, and you peek into here, kind of here. Sometimes maybe there's a Opa or an AK going through here, or he even wants to like jump spots if anything is short then you have a chance obviously with the boost towards short um, to go over here kind of see nothing is here maybe he's jumping here try to kill this guy jumping just wait until the smoke obviously you have the protection of the smoke so maybe there's going to be a tease lack in here and get an easy entry here now other passive thing you can do is when you get boosted here you just stay towards here just wait here and then from time to time you can peek obviously this kind of jump here just because some teams uh, some players obviously like like to do this kind of jump here right do this jump see if anything is boosted i think you, you might get a easy headshot kill on the guy right and then as you are here obviously you stay here for a long long time right because what the t's like to do obviously they like doing kind of this smoke here and obviously go up to xbox this guy eva jumps obviously through this way right here and he come and peeks you here right so what I like to do, what other opens like to do, as they are peeking here, right, they hear the smoke and they know that's kind of the timing where the T's want to jump up Xbox, right? So as, as you are watching here, obviously the T's also can come here uh, without paying attention, you get an easy kill on this guy here. But from time to time, you just peek here. Nothing is here, you peek again, peek here, right? Because you might catch this guy as he's tra transitioning to going up here. Obviously, he's not paying a lot of attention, and then you just peek into him here, right? You get a lo lot of easy kills, you just peek in him quickly, boom, and then you escape. You play, obviously, towards Fox here, you can play towards here, or go fully back and play, you know, different angles. Hasn't quite charged upon it, but it's got into the smoke here. Nico worried about this possibility. Flash, it is ineffective, and so Nico has the first kill. Now Mantu's aggressive play, shot lands, but no kill. The follow-up nade will get it. Good start here for OG. Two players to the advantage. Uh, one more thing you can do towards short with the boost is, let's say your team is boosting two of you up now. So two of you, best, first thing you want to do is your other rifler come in here, getting boosted, right? Uh, as he's coming here, your rifler just stands here, right? He stands here and uh, what you do, you just jump and peek here peek for the lower guy right um obviously you can do this also with the uh, the t crouching whatever your preference is you can check it obviously with, with your friend on the server um what i like to do is my teammates just standing up i kind of jump on him straight away 
and I peek here, right? I peek here straight away just because some of the T's uh, were thinking, let's say it's a pug, whatever, they just like to just run straight away, right? And then boom, they get killed by the orb. Um, let's say nothing happens within the first 10 seconds. This is where you kind of want to be anti-flash just because the T's uh, who are low want, they're telling the teammates like, you know, come flash for me, whatever. He's flashing above short for this guy or the T's are, you know, just doing the, the standard uh, flash like towards here somewhere, right? Uh, for themselves. So you kind of stay anti-flash, right? For these flashes, flash pops and then you peek, right? Peek into this flash and kill this guy. So after, let's say, nothing happens, right? Uh, towards lower, that's when you kind of have to leave the boost just because you can get killed from certain areas. Uh, like this guy going towards here, right? Whatever, doing this jump here. Um, obviously, he can see you. Or he's going down mid, right? This way. And then he kind of peeks into this angle here. And he's going to see you, right? Game boosted here. So you die from here. So you have like, I would say like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds to, to kind of be there and then you just bail and just leave and do something else, right? These are the spawn peaks here, kind of towards A you can do. Let's say kind of you get this spawn right here, um, towards B, towards mid doors. First thing I kind of think, I'm out, think in my mind is if I have this spawn, I want to do the B peak. So as you are running here, obviously you can uh, do the normal cross kind of here, um, jumping if you want as well. Whatever you feel like, you can also obviously go kind of to the back, jump here. What I like to do obviously is just run straight away, just to be as fast as possible to the tunnels. As you are running here, running, 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 and kind of jump here and then peek here. Because you, you are much quicker than the T's are, and then you just wait there for one, two seconds because the OPA might strafe or the AK might strafe on you, you know? So you just wait those two extra seconds. Boom, you don't see anything. Then you start approaching these angles, right? Boom, first angle is kind of here, right? Peak this angle here, nothing happens. Peak this angle here, nothing happens, right? You keep more, 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 more. Now there's two things, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. The more passive approach is kind of stay towards here. And kind of have this angle here, just because the T sometimes, they, they want to flash, let's say, uh, the slower guy wants to flash for his teammate towards here. And then his teammate peaks on this flash, right? So if you kind of have this angle like towards here, as you can see, you're not gonna get blind and then you, you just kill the guy here. Um, and you just stay here a whole round because maybe the T's come here like towards this area to line something up. Uh, they're not paying attention, you can get an easy kill here. Or the more aggressive thing you can do as you are peeking here, obviously clearing these angles and you get your other teammate to come with you and you start clearing every single angle. So these are the most important angles you clear, right? You clear this angle first, then boom, you clear this angle first, right? You go here, go here, Boom, you clear this angle here. And then here, once again, you start doing this, clear this angle, and then clear this angle, this angle here. And then you have your teammate for you, just because you got the room for your teammate, your teammate can either obviously push behind them, whatever, stay in this, you cleared everything for him, and then you go away, you go somewhere else, right? Now, just because you did the aggressive peak here, you have the reassurance that no one is here, right? So that's why you don't have to like, you know, be super aware of this guy, your team is super okay, no, there's no way this guy is over there in that corner. So as the OPA, you are just peeking this angle, this angle, this angle, here, boom, here, and then again, you got this angle and you have full tunnels here. Usually what you do is you get kills, obviously, towards this guy here, like this guy here, or this guy being right here, right? To get these kills, again, with a good spawn peak. Now towards mid, obviously there's a lot of things you can do uh, tricks, boosts, whatever. What you can do is let Ferry, your teammate, which is usually crossing towards B, right? Gives you the information that, oh, they're not really boosting uh, towards T. The AWP is not shooting, right? Or he's shooting once and then going away. This spawn here is, um, as you are running here, 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 and then boom, you just do this kind of cross here for info, right? So let's say you cross here, you don't see anything, then you can obviously go towards lower again and just kind of get posted up here, wait for the guys, right? But as you are doing this, you need to be careful um, just because when you do this cross, you don't see anything, right? And you're like, okay, this is free, right? But 
the other opus which i will get into the t side right um they play kind of obviously towards here um or once again they are boosted up which i will get into the t side and they only watch this kind of angle here right um they're waiting for you to kind of cross right so you need to be kind of beware obviously if you are super aggressive as you're crossing here you don't see anything you can kind of right eye peek him into here right and kill this guy here the orb but if you don't see anything let's say they don't have an orb or anything they're not boosting uh they shoot and leave after the first shot that's when you kind of get info yourself kind of cross in here this cross here boom you don't see anything you go towards lower right you get posted up here boom you get the shot then obviously you or your teammate can smoke here flash over you escape you got the the, the first entry or whatever and then you escape right now with the other spawns i mean with the same spawn which you can do obviously other stuff you can do gimmicky stuff like uh just like in private does too obviously you can smoke kind of towards here right um and then get your your friend to to stay here wait a second mm -hmm. he comes towards here right crouched and then you kind of go on top of his head throw the smoke again but the smoke kind of pops here so you go on top of his head and then you peek right kind of peek into this orb that are boosting or whatever and the, the the smoke gives you protection so you can see you can be crouched over here and you have yourself a nice one way um other things you can do is um as you are running towards here you can do this kind of smoke towards here as you throw this smoke this obviously takes a lot of practice you kind of can come this way you jump up on the xbox right jump up at the xbox and then de peek these guys towards here do i recommend doing this kind of peek um you can obviously try right because they see smoke they start wall banging that they, they are not paying attention to this uh to the smoke and you kind of you see this kind of ledge here that's what i'm saying it needs some practice where you kind of put yourself here you go up right and try and get a kill if you're super aggressive of course it's a pug whatever you can go towards short obviously from peaking mid go towards top mid if you want right uh in a pug wouldn't recommend it in an official of course um because I've never seen that kind of play before, right? If you want to try it, you can try it, of course. There isn't much more, obviously, you can do. You, you got the long peak, the, the short peak, the, the B peak, the lower peak, the, the mid peaks, um, the kind of boost gimmicky stuff here. Maybe into the CT side, going more into the positions which you can play uh, kind of mid round, right? So let's say you did the long peak or whatever. Uh, then you're coming back. The first thing most opus like to do, I like to do is myself, is play on the car. Hit the Miracle Whip, but just put a little bit too much mayonnaise on that one. That's nice. Woo! Towards kind of the, this angle, see if they're executing or whatever, and just play kind of from this position. So you get a kill here, right? As they're executing, let's say they're not even executing, it's a pug, right? They're just free strafing with one flash. You get this kill here, and it's kind of like the vice style on those two where you get a kill, you reposition different angle get a kill reposition different angle get a kill reposition different angle. you see how many different angles you can take so it's like three four easy kills if the obviously the t's are not doing a full execute they're not they're not coordinated enough right um obviously it gets much harder in the professional scene where you don't get a lot of these chances right smoke which could be used for 10 different things sometimes people jump right through it more smokes coming in. That H Greek grenade. Oh, it's going to land right on top. That's an immense amount of damage. Tarek comes back with a headshot, taking down Alexi B and Circus there as well. But Mantu down at long with that orb. No one is coming for him. He knows that he's got MBK covering him. Should be his kill here, and he's going to drop Circ. The orb out of the picture. The follow up kill on Ethan. So you can either play, obviously, this car position here. You can play this, obviously, angle here, kind of below car. This kind of position here. Uh, what you can do with this is like. As you are playing here, let's say they are again strafing, instead of doing the kind of repeat kind of different angle here is as you are getting a shot here, what you do is just a throw over the flash over here and again peak the same angle. And you again, you don't have to take these kind of angles here. You peek into them, they are full blind, you can easy kill and then you go back to a different angle, right? Let's say this is kind of 
obviously new and it's also super good is if you're playing side right these angles or kind of these angles where you're kind of anti-flash right you get this nice angle here let's say they are doing a full execute right on you where it gets a little bit tricky obviously to kind of play these angles here just because the the t's will start flashing obviously they have smokes to cover right so they do um these smokes right called avanga smokes they do kind of these smokes right and they have the full cover while running yeah so as you see these smokes the flashes or whatever which you can what you can do which is super good and you are ramp right is you can uh throw this double click smoke towards here as you throw the smoke you go up here and as you can see um you can see people crossing right you see these kind of you have yourself a one way and you see people crossing as you can see here it's people crossing and then you can get easy kill go back get a kill from here and just keep playing around this smoke so you see an execute don't throw it away just wait a little bit just just to see if it's a full execute right they're doing a full execute boom you go up here double click right wait for the smoke to pop and then again play these angles here right you see so you see people crossing and you just get easy kills on them right you can just wait a little bit as well maybe for the flashes and then kind of peek and get an easy kill and then you just play around the smoke right you get a kill here get a kill here get a kill here right and you just play around with it and it's super super good so you kind of have this angle right here for the t strafing closer flames is about to get a bit of a tough uh situation dealt to him here in a moment as uh, glaive is about to come around that corner because um, usually the T's, what they would do is they will kind of strafe from here, right? Instead of strafing from here. Even if they strafe from here, you can get, you can flick back and kill this guy there, right? Um, so you hold this kind of angle here. What else you can do, of course, if you know, let's say the T's do a flash, do something, you can be again. Just kind of the same uh, principle where I said, where you boost for lower, right? You stay anti-flash and then you peek once the flash pops, right? So the same thing kind of here where you know that the, the T's are flashing, you wait here, the flash pops and you peek, right? Peek into the sign, get a flick, go back and get a molly. You molly this or your teammate is there right with you. Now it's important to have your always teammate with you because let's say you are Fox here, right? Um, they flash you, they see you, whatever, you don't get the kill, you fall back, right? And then the T's know that the all part isn't in these, you know, crazy like difficult angles to clear here whether he just shoots you he knows like they know they have a timing on you here and they would want to like oh they see the upper here okay let's just rush brute force rush a right kill this guy here um so that's why it is important to have your teammate or how have a molly with you uh where you get you get they see you right you get flashed whatever instantly you pull out the molly and then you just molly this area just so they can't go through or again you have your teammate for you where he mollies it and just plays an angle kind of here, here, whatever, just to see if they're rushing. Maybe he gets an easy kill on these guys here, right? Uh, another thing which you can do, instead of this fox angle towards there, you play this one right here, right? Again, kind of same, same angle here. The T's are crossing, you get an easy kill on them, right? Um, another thing which you can do is play this angle right here, an off angle, right? So what, what you do with this angle, you can do it in a way where on timing you kind of peek and catch a T lacking, right? Again, it's important you have a teammate for you just to throw Molly anything so they can't punish you back. Or <clears throat> you stay here in this off angle, maybe someone will come here, whatever, he's not paying attention, get an easy kill. Or again, they are throwing this execute, right? Now, as they are throwing this execute, um, so you see the smokes pop in, right? And before the smokes pop, like you see the smokes going, and then you peek, right? So you see these guys, they're not ready for this kind of peek, right? Um, especially in pugs or whatever, you can catch these guys off guard. Because you see the smoke coming pop, and then you kind of peek here into these guys. Get an easy kill, whatever. And then molly them back. Your team is there again for you if you want them to be. Um, and it's kind of how you would want to play kind of in those situations. Yeah, one more thing I wanted to add on the car kind of angles is you can do yourself kind of a smoke towards here and kind of play, as you can see, the one way here. 
uh, kind of you, you have the safety of the smoke so you dodge kind of even if you get flashed you kind of go back here right peek into these angles here so even shot here the t's want to challenge you here you kind of have the smoke one way and you kill them here so you have these 15 seconds of course of playing around the smoke and getting easy obviously more kills so you have the one way obviously towards here you have one way towards car you have these peaks which i showed you kind of old school peaks which obviously you can do obviously falling a little bit out of the meta is kind of this angle here or one more angle is of course if you get your teammate to to boost you up right and kind of play these angles here so you go on the barrel boost you up here you can get an easy kill here uh, one thing you can do of course is let's say you are again kind of on this side they have long control things you can do with the smokes is first thing you can do is this smoke here right so let's say you are here you've just throw like a left click fast throw over there then you get your teammate to come crouch right here right um as he's crouched right there obviously you go towards here let me throw the smoke again so you go towards here he's crouched here right boom and then you crouch and you jump up you have this elevated obviously vision of these guys in pit you have the smoke kind of to cover you uh and then you kill anyone that you basically see right you can obviously as you are getting boosted you can throw a teammate can throw a flash for you you can flash for uh for yourself so you throw the smoke right teammate goes there boom you do the flash boom and then you go up right see if anything is there anything helps because from their perspective right they see this kind of smoke they're a little bit scared right because sometimes what the t's like to do is when they throw this smoke um they also like to kind of go to these kind of positions here right peak from from barrel so they have to be, be aware of a lot of a lot of angles right um one thing of course you can do is uh you can throw a smoke obviously um towards here again flash for yourself here and again kind of play these these angles here again peak see if you can get anything to kill one more thing let's say you don't want to get these peaks uh you're, you don't want to do these peaks against the orb you want them to come and execute where to do these uh two smokes here right so as they are throwing them you wait a little bit and you underhand a smoke here kind of as you underhand a smoke here you see you get a nice one way towards here and you see anyone crossing um you can of course experiment with the smoke where you want it to land but as you can see even if you get flash you get the cover of the smoke and then you keep repeating killing these guys that are crossing to the side um obviously one more thing which you can do as the smoke kind of pops you get this one way you can play around it right so you can peek from this side again you can come back peek from this side so you just play around these smokes and it's super super effective getting getting the kills as the ct um you can do this kind of smoke here and then you get your teammate again to crouch here he crouches here and you again have one more elevated position you can see the t's much more clearly crossing the side you get the kills right b side obviously mid playing around mid of course uh the first thing you would like to do is as you are crossing here uh is have this angle towards here but let's say it's eco or whatever um or the ak's are strafing you don't want to hold this line here unless you are super fast a uh, 16 year old kid right um so because the t's as they are running here they are just strafing like this straight away right that's why you kind of hold an angle kind of towards here obviously double zoom kill these guys here right after 20 30 seconds nothing is happening of course you need to kind of change your angle where you kind of change here and see if anything crosses from lower and your basically you concentrate much more on this kind of angle than this one here right so you kind of watch here what's happening um let's say they are fight towards here it's important you have two flashes with you because you can flash towards here right pop again repeat you have one more flash boom maybe from a different angle peak here right so just those two things you can do with the flashes want one more off angle which you can play uh, super super strong is kind of this angle towards here where you only have the xbox here because from their perspective as the t if you're holding this angle right like 
they PK, they don't see you. Right? Wait, I can just show you how it looks from their perspective. So if I put a bot here with the op, see they are peeking here. They don't see anything, you know? They don't see anything, boom. They don't see anything. Oh, this is clear, like it looks clear, right? Then you you see, you wanna go towards A, boom. Get killed by this off angle here. Even as the op are, let's say on the T side, where they are clearing uh, everything here, boom, boom. Oh, this looks really clear, right? Okay, I'm, I'm safe and then boom, you die, right? Good off angle you can do. Uh, towards B, um, I mean, these are just basics. Not a lot of things you can play around, normal window. Um, other uh, off angles you can play, of course, is the, the barrel kind of off angle here, right? These kind of off angles here. Here, right? It's pretty self-explanatory how you can play on B where you play backside kind of right get one shot and then you have your teammates who are coming to help you kind of obviously do these flashes for you in front of xbox just to blind anyone coming in but that is that is essentially it um on the cd side with kind of all peaks you want to do how to play around a how to play around mid uh, what to do in different situations right and yeah we're gonna go into the t side now much less things you can do than CT side. Um, just normally that's how it is on all maps. First thing, again, the basics was if you kind of get spawns towards here, this is again, once again, will be in your mind. Okay, I'm gonna do the long peak. Now as you are running here, right? Doing the long peak, boom, 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 boom. Right, I like to do this jump here and then peak with the up here, right? Now, it's important for your teammates to come flash for you is they do this flash which i showed on city side aim right here in the corner and you jump through uh, you do this when your teammate crosses here so when he's in this door you can see right he crosses the door he's in the door boom you flash for him because it's the time where the flash will pop it pops and then you peek here right and you kill this guy here um another thing which you can do uh, maybe it's a little bit out of meta right now, but I saw uh, a couple months ago was if you have the spawn again, your teammate does the flash for you, you're running, running, running. Instead of peeking here, you kind of do this kind of anti-flash, right? And then you go here, you kill the orb, right? Maybe it's falling a little bit out of meta, but you can still obviously try it in pugs or whatever um, as you're running here. Again, kind of anti-flash, boom, boom, and then kill these guys that are crossing, right? Usually your teammate will, let's say they will throw, a, your teammate throws this kind of smoke for you in this kind of scenario, right? Long smoke. Um, so as you're running here, boom, flash pops, right? And you want to kill this guy crossing here with the orb. Now, on the T side, um, the most important right now thing in the DOS 2 change is Obviously, you cannot see mid, right? Um, so, the first thing which you, which a lot of teams are doing, I'm doing myself, is the boost. The two types of boost, right? The first boost you can do is the right side boost, and you kind of go on this shadow here, kind of in between uh, this and this, right? So you position yourself right here, like your teammate should do it, and then basically he just stands there. As he's standing there, right, you peek towards it. Different ways you can peek this. Uh, let's say you your teammate has a bad spawn or whatever then as he's boosting you you kind of have this off angle here just to see if uh, anyone crosses towards lower and hope maybe peeks you or they're not paying attention and then you kind of peek into this angle here just to see what's happening maybe there's a orb it's not paying attention again just because he didn't see you first time and then you get an easy kill but let's say you have a good spawn right so teammate jumps first kind of jump onto his head and boom you peek straight away now most players will cross kind of this way close which i showed you on the ct side now you can either pre-aim here pre-aim kind of here right just to get the headshot kill uh through this wall or just to tag him or you get an easy kill but not easy kill if you have fast reactions you can get kill right here before uh, they cross and it's not a wall bang right um other angle, uh, other things you can do is instead of peeking here you peek kind of towards here because some players like to jump instead of peeking closer they jump over here to get kill here, tag here, headshot kill, whatever. So 
this kind of angle, this angle, okay? Or you kind of know that the two guys that are jumping are baiting for the orb. So they're baiting me to shoot them and then the orb peaks and kills me, right? So you kind of let them cross and you have hold an off angle towards here. Because usually that's when the orb part tells his teammates like jump over. The, op, the enemy op is gonna like shoot and then I peek here, right? Um, so that's where you kind of bait him and you have the angle on him. He comes and you kill him, right? Another boost you can do is kind of to the, towards the left side. Your teammate again kind of jumps towards this kind of area right here. Same principle, you jump on his head and then again, you take a different angle, again pre-aim here pre-aim kind of here for these people crossing or pre-aim kind of for the old part that's trying to to kill you, right? No, it's confirmed now as they're so brittle on the way in the door. But the buyback for both teams, the Orpad again, there's so many players here, and oh. Mantu's taking down Woxic, what a quick shot. Yeah, that's lovely for Mantu, opens things up, gives OG. So same thing, two different boosts you can do. Obviously, let's say your teammates don't like you, they're like, nah, I'm not gonna boost you. So then that's when you kind of, you can go, as you can see this elevated uh, kind of bit here, the platform, you go into here, and again, you go take this angle here, or this one here. You just get easy tags, or let's say you're quick, um, you can get easy kill either through the wall as they're crossing, or right here if you have fast reactions, right? 9-5 down to Maus, 6-6 in our matchup here though. On the secondary stream is Mantu opens things up again. That's it on these changes right here. Um, one more thing, obviously, which you can do, let's say you have the spawn towards here, you don't want to peek long, is show you what you can do as you are running here. Boom, boom, boom. You kind of crouch here, right? And then you kind of peek here. So you crouch down the angle, right, of the Orpa, and then you peek into him, right? Just because, like I said, the city side Orpas will peek kind of here whatever peak here and then randomly you appear here right like he didn't see you cross or whatever so you just call him off by subscribe by surprise and then you peek into him right or if you're super ballsy you don't have to do this you just show it with the spawn kind of peek towards here see what's happening maybe catch this guy off guard or the mid player just jumping around you can catch him off guard quite easily one more thing which you can do i haven't seen a lot of people do it uh but again it is an idea where you have this kind of spawn here, you jump down, uh, you kind of nade towards there. And as you can see, this kind of smoke or whatever from the nade gives you cover, right? So you throw this nade to give you cover and then you kind of peek into here, right? So I just want to show you guys from their perspective how it looks, you throw the nade, you can't see anything, right? Like because of the smoke of the nade, because the particles on the ground, right? The specific like sections of the map where you can throw because if I throw it, let's say, I don't know, here. Okay, that looks the same. If I throw it here, you see, it's much different than the particles which were shown here. So you kind of throw this nade towards here, jump down, throw the nade towards here, boom, it's gonna explode, give you cover, and then you peek into here. Something you can try in the park, see if it works for you, right? Let's say you get a spawn towards B heavy, right? Spawn towards here. You're like, okay, let me do the B peak. Yeah. So you run. Boom, boom, boom. You want to get there as fast as you can. Just let's say you think the AWP is not peaking here or the the T's are molly and they're not smoking it. So maybe you have a chance to kill the guys here. So I like to do it, kind of jump here, strafe and then peek here, right? Wait for this guy here and then you can stand up and maybe catch this guy here or here, right? Come into the side. Usually they jump up on this platform towards here, you see, with the, let's say, with the rifle, and then you can catch an easy kill on this guy here. Uh, let's say nothing is happening, they only molly, um, you don't see anyone, they only molly, they don't smoke, you kind of wait for the molly to fade, you kind of still have, have these kind of off angles here, and again, you tell your teammates to follow you, you kind of clear these angles here. First angle you want to clear is this angle here, you see, which they play. Second angle which you want to clear is kind of here, window here, and now you wait. Now you wait for your teammates to to come to clear this kind of angle for you, right? So they come up close and boom, they strafe on this guy here. Just because it's much harder for you as you're peeking with the op to peek here, right? Because the opa could be right there. This guy could kill you. So basically use your rifles to do it for you where they strafe and then you just trade them wherever the action is. 
Uh, one more thing you can do with the spawn towards B is kind of things that count on the CT side as you're running here. Bam, 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 bam. You run, you run, you run, you run. And you know kind of they're not pushing lower and you want to kill the, the guy boosted, right? So you go towards here and you kind of kill this boost here, right? Um, obviously, in this kind of scenario, with the changes, obviously you can't see lower. So what your team would want to do is probably run here and then molly towards lower. So then you have this kind of safety of, okay, they can't rush me lower. And then as you are running, you know the other Opa likes to get boosted and you kind of surprise him here with this peak, right? Boom. And you kill him. Because again, he might again do the same principle where he's watching here, doesn't see anything and then he's kind of anti-flash. And then you kind of peek into him, hold him for a second, then he peeks into you, and then you kill him, right? That's pretty much it on the peaks on the T side, which you can do. Things which, some smokes you want to do, cool smokes. Uh, the first kind of Zyver smoke is you kind of put yourself in this corner right here, into this wheel. And then this is important, you can only do this obviously with scope, is you double zoom here, crouch, right? And I like to aim kind of in this corner right here. And then as you are crouched here, you just jump rope. What, what this will do, the smoke will pop right there. Kind of a cool gimmicky smoke you can do. One more thing you can do is if you get a spawn towards here, you get kind of used to it, like you know which spawn you get. If you get spawn towards here, you can again double zoom towards this angle here and it is hard obviously different resolutions uh, different video qualities will change this thing but for me I see kind of these dots here one two three and on the third dot um, on the third dot here I like to jump throw with W right it's not crowd jump throw with W and it should yeah it lands towards Xbox right here so you can experiment this yourself. Obviously, the how it will look obviously will change uh, on what, what type of settings, what resolution you play. But you can do the smoke of the spawn really easily. You have this kind of spawn, right? Again, you need to use with the kind of orb here. You see these kind of dots, one, two, three. I am on the third one in the corner right here. And then I jump from. Um, but mainly, one more trick you can do, of course, is you get your teammate to come for you uh, right here and then he boosts you right so you are towards here he's here right and then you boom you peek kind of towards this angle here right just to catch these this opera of god because again from his perspective right like he's watching these off angles and then randomly like there's a guy popping up here killing you right so you need to flick or whatever but again just to catch these these orpers off guard, right? You kind of do this. A lot of orpers I saw, like kind of doing this when they save the orb and they have to get the kill. They get boosted by a teammate here and they just peek these angles here. One more thing, obviously on T side is, let's say you are doing the double kind of smokes here. So you even do the smoke kind of from here. Uh, then your other teammate obviously does the smoke closer here. You would want to, first of all, um kind of get yourself in this position right here if you get yourself in this position you can see the people crossing towards the side you kill them let's say the cities are flashing city boom you go trade your teammates so playing around this like platform here is super important super strong uh, a lot of opus do it where they just have an overview of everything and they just whatever happens they trade right um kind of smokes which you can do obviously for your team like i said is you put yourself in this corner you crouch um you see this kind of thing here and then you just jump for a while being crouched this is the kind of deep smoke that you can do one more thing which you can do is tuck yourself here in this corner and as you can see here this little dent here uh you just kind of throw it underneath uh, once again it kind of it's a deep smoke same kind of thing you can help your teammates out or let's see the teammates are doing the smokes for themselves you have smoke so as you go to this kind of platform here nothing is happening they're not crossing what you can do is these smokes are up and again kind of same thing you throw yourself a smoke kind of here and then as your teammates are fighting here you fighting with them with the orb so you just give them so much cover here because the t's 
or you should around here like fight them with the riflers they hear they hear whatever they are here and then again you give them so much more coverage with the orb when you play around here and you just help your team out when you execute towards a through long uh, one more thing you can do is let's say you got into let's say there's a smoke here right uh, your teammates molly the car whatever you flashed yourself into pit um, you know car is clear the smoke is fading let's say you stop peeking these angles here blah 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 nothing is happening what you can do is super aggressive right so you go here scoped up and you search for the kill here because what the t's are expecting uh what the cities are expecting is double smokes whatever execute right and what you do here is kind of peek these angles here boom first angle you peek here on this guy maybe he's lacking peek this guy here elevator nothing's happening and you just keep searching with the orb right boom keep search keep searching maybe you can catch them off guard here right here obviously you can stop see what's happening then you execute as the smokes are popping then may you can peek with the orb kind of these uh these angles here if you want super aggressive or let's say you are super aggressive you just want to keep searching right you got kind of this era search 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 and just, just get an easy kill go back you have the advantage and then maybe you can execute from there obviously i can go into further much detail how to play around different scenarios but again these are the most important parts of t side open and ct side which i think are of great value for you if you want to be good at open so that is it guys uh thank you for watching uh i think hopefully it's a long video uh on dust 2 there's a lot of things obviously you can do on t side ct side gimmicky things smokes uh kind of plays uh you can do around certain executes uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, I will continue obviously with the remaining maps um, and yeah hopefully you like the video I'll see you guys in the next one and peace